pubs have been some of the hardest hit businesses by the lockdowns with a constantly changing set of rules to abide by if they're allowed to open at all. One such establishment, the old Mitre Inn pub in Barnet, North London, says it has £4,000 worth of beer going off in its cellar. With pubs currently closed and a ban on takeaway pints also in force, it's feared many may not open their doors until May. Up to 70 million pints are thought to have been poured down the drain, with government scientists insisting bars are a hotbed of virus transmission. But the owner of the Mitre, Gary Murphy, claims takeaway beer is perfectly safe to sell and pubs are being unfairly targeted. And I'm delighted to say that Gary joins me now. Hi there, Gary. I mean, £4,000 worth of beer going off. Hello there. That's a disaster, isn't it? Uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, and it adds to the, the disaster that 2020 has been um, in the sense that we were closed for uh, such a long period. Uh, and now 2021 doesn't look uh, much more promising uh, as we are closed without takeaway uh, and with no end date. Indeed, I mean, we saw some of the figures there. Is it 70 million pints wasted, which is quite unimaginable, really? How much have you wasted in the last year? Yes, well, uh, I've got £4,000 approximately uh, down in my cellar at the moment. Um, I probably had a similar amount uh, when we were shut down last uh, uh, March. Uh, there are 47,000 uh, pubs in the UK, 26,000 restaurants, uh, then we have hotels and we have stocks at breweries uh, and we have distribution centres. Um, so we are talking about hundreds of millions of pounds here. Uh, it's not just the £4,000 in my cellar. Well, the government says that pubs fuel the spread of the virus. I mean, you can see by saying that why they don't want you to open. Well, I can't see how uh, a takeaway service provided by a pub is any different uh, from a takeaway service uh, provided uh, by any other um, organisation or indeed uh, visiting a shop. Um, and the government has made uh, a distinction between collecting uh, takeaway food and uh, collecting takeaway alcohol. Uh, and I really uh, fail to see uh, what the difference is in terms of infection control. Of course, we want to do our bit, and the pump trade has done its bit. Uh, when we opened last July, we rose to the challenge. Uh, we uh, introduced social distancing. Uh, we've adapted uh, to all of the many uh, restrictions that were uh, put in place. Uh, many of which didn't make sense, including the 10 p.m. curfew and the uh, scotch egg or substantial meal rule, but we did it. Uh, and the evidence didn't show uh, that pubs were a source of infection. Uh, and I really can't see uh, why takeaway alcohol is such a controversial issue when anyone can go uh, to the shop two doors away from my pub uh, and buy as much alcohol as they like. Well, the, the government would argue that having takeaway pints encourages social mixing. I mean, what do you think of that? <laughs> It doesn't really, uh, as far as I can see. Uh, 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 I mean, there was some instance in the summer where people were walking about the park um, with uh, uh, alcohol, um, but we've seen recently that, that people do that with coffee. Um, those uh, particular rules are not about the product. Uh, they're about uh, getting people uh, to... to uh, perform uh, in the best possible way to beat the virus when they're going about their business. Uh, and it just seems extraordinary uh, that the government are focusing on alcohol. Indeed. Well, the hospitality sector, as we know, has borne the brunt of the lockdown as well. But the argument is that, that it's fairly borne the brunt of lockdown because it's helped to fuel it by allowing social mixing. What do you think of that? Um, there's no evidence of that, uh, of course, uh, and uh, the hospitality trade as a whole has been asked, uh, asking the government for evidence, and they've never come up with it. Um, we have been subject to really strict measures. Uh, we've distanced all our seating. We've, we've majored on outdoor seating. Uh, so I, I really don't know where that thought is coming from. Uh, when we uh, were restricted further uh, at the back end of last year, we also made sure that people weren't mixing inside in households. 
Um, this is the type of control that we can do in a public place. Um, but it's much more difficult uh, for the police to manage this in people's homes. Uh, so if, if you look at it in, in, in another way, we can actually help the government uh, to manage uh, the household rules and other mixing rules by providing a safe and monitored public environment. Indeed. Gary Murphy, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you.